Hi! It's Emma Nago. So today I'm doing this makeup look and I'm using the brand new Master Palette by Mario from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I got this in the mail Friday, it's Sunday today and I finally had time to use it. So it's my first time using this palette so you will see my first impressions as I do this eye look and this palette has like the most amazing fall colors so I did a really warm eye look and paired it with some warm skin and warm nude lips and then I did some messy hair and this uh, big sweater so it's feeling a lot like fall to me so anyways don't forget to thumbs up the video if you like this look and watch in high definition and without further ado here comes the tutorial so first step is a primer of course and I'm going to use my makeup forever smoothing base and I start from the center where I have some large pores and then I just move it outwards and I haven't used an under eye primer in a minute but I'm going to use one today um, I'm going to use this one from Smashbox so I'm just applying a bit with my ring fingers and I'm going to mix these two foundations today so the lighter one is Marc Jacobs Remarkable and the darker one is Revlon Color Stay for combination oily skin so I mix most of the Revlon and then a bit of the Marc Jacobs and the Marc Jacobs foundation is Ivory Light and the Revlon is Fresh Beige and I go in with my damp beauty blender and I just softly pounce it into my skin and this combination is really good coverage and now I'm going to use my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and this one is in the color Fair Neutral and I'm just highlighting underneath my eyes today and I'm also blending this out with the Beauty Blender and I'm going to use New York Color Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder so I just make sure I dab out the creases underneath my eyes and then I go straight in with the powder so again I make sure I blend out the creases and then I immediately after go in with the powder and for the rest of my face I'm using a pressed face powder this is Rimmel Stay Matte in the color Sandstorm so I just pop this on and this foundation combination is already pretty matte this is just going to lock it in place all day so to bronze contour and highlight I'm going to use the e.l.f. contour palette and for some reason I have never used this before so I'm going to try out this color here for some bronzer so let's see how it works so far so good I'm liking it I do find it a tiny bit hard to blend but overall I think it's really nice I do like the pigmentation and the tone so now I'm taking a little bit of the darker and more cool toned powder. This I'm going to use to contour. So I'm contouring my nose and also my cheekbones. And right now I'm using a little brush that I got from W7. And I'm blending it out with my bronzer brush. So I'm just going to bake right under my cheekbones because it got a little bit out of control. So I'm also going to use this slightly yellow powder to highlight underneath my eyes. So I just load up my brush and go underneath the eyes. Can you guys see the difference? So for a little bit of blush, I'm going to use Tarte Blush. This is what it looks like. And this particular color is called Exposed. So I'm just adding a touch of this to the apples of my cheeks. And I'm keeping my face all matte today, so no highlighter whatsoever. So let's remove this baking powder. And I'm going to set my face with the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. So for my eyebrows, I'm going to use this little e.l.f. Um, Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in the color Light Brown. And as you guys can see, I've never used it before, so I thought it was about time. So I'm going to fill in almost my entire brow with this. So I'm doing the entire like outer part of my brow and then I'm stopping like right in here. I am really impressed with this. 
this has like the perfect consistency to me. Some of the other brow pomades I've tried, they have either been way too creamy and slippery or they have been way too stiff and hard. This one is like right in the middle and I love it. So for the inner part, I'm going to use my e.l.f. brow kit and I'm going to use the powder side. This one is in the color Ash. And using a lighter powder in the front will really make the brows look softer compared to only using the pomade. And I am going to clean up my brows today because they are a bit messy. And I have really been wanting to clean up my brows lately, so let's do it. So I'm just using my concealer. And I just blend that out with my beauty blender. So now they are cleaned up and it looks a lot better to me. So I'm going to set my brows in place with some Technique Natural Lashes Conditioning Mascara. So I'm just lightly going through my eyebrow hairs. So for eyeshadow primer, I'm going to use my favorite at the moment, which is the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. So I'm just popping it on with my ring finger. So for some reason the primer and the concealer was not mixing at all and it looked really patchy. So I went in with just the concealer. It's still a little bit patchy as you can probably see so I hope it does not affect my eyeshadows. So let's try it. I'm going to use the Master Palette by Mariel from Anastasia. And the first color I'm going to take is the color Kim and I'm going to pop this on the eyelid focusing on the center and I have not used these eyeshadows before but so far so good and then I'm going to take the color down here called Isabel and I'm going to apply this in the outer corner and also in the inner corner right in here and I'm also bringing this color into the crease and kind of connecting the two the outer and the inner corner these eyeshadows are gorgeous and they're really pigmented and they are also fairly easy to blend, but they are also a bit powdery. But other than that, they are really great. Do you see how much powder excess there is? So now I'm just using my face powder on a different blending brush to blend out the edges. So I'm going to deepen the look a little bit with this color. This one is called Violetta and I'm placing this in the outer corner and also a little bit in the inner corner and I just blend slightly into the crease but I'm not connecting the two so I'm touching up the color on the eyelid and around the tear duct I'm going to use this highly shimmery color called Fifth Avenue and I'm just applying this around the tear duct and I'm applying this color wet in case I didn't already tell you guys that so now I'm applying the color Kim on my lower lash line and I just applied this color right in the center of my lower lash line and on the outer and inner corners I'm going to use the two matching colors from the top so I'm starting out with the lighter color so I place the color right in here for the inner part and then I use the darkest color so once the eyeshadow is on, I'm going to use my Rimmel Scandalize um, Gel Eyeliner in the color black. And I'm just trying to do a thin line. And I'm using my MAC and Gold Eyeliner Brush. So I'm also applying this um, eyeliner to my upper waterline. So now I'm curling my lashes. And my mascara is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Endless. And this is of course going on top and bottom. And now for the bottom lashes. So for false eyelashes, I'm going to use this stacked pair from MAC. So these are number 43 stacked with number 36 I believe. And as always, I use my W7 Lash Glue. So I do feel like these lashes might be a little bit too overpowering for this eye look. I kind of wish I would have done something smaller, but it's too late to change it now, so we're just going to roll with it. 
So I'm going to cover up the last band because I have some glitter in the last band. So to finish off the eyes, I'm going to use this e.l.f. Lock On Gel Eyeliner. And this one is in a nude color. And this one just goes right on the waterline. So for the lips, I'm going to do kind of a warm nude color. So I'm going to start out with the e.l.f. Lip Liner in the color Natural. So I'm going to line my lips with this. And I'm going to fill in my lips with this lipstick by L'Oreal and this one is called Eva's Nude. And then I'm going to add a bit of Nars Striptease lip gloss on top. And I'm going to remove any excess lipstick and lip gloss with a Q-tip. So here you guys have the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked it, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. So take care and bye bye!